I'm not God. I can't judge you and I will not judge you. Anyway, so <laughs> I'm just quoting Hazel E. In this uh, TMZ interview that she did recently, you know, and I posted a two minute video on my blog, cannot post it here for obvious reasons. But th let me just go ahead and read to you what TMZ wrote in the article. TMZ wrote, now this is October 19th of 2017. They posted an article titled, Hazel E, sorry I said all gays should burn, but the Bible says, you know, in reference to the whole Rose Burgundy posting the burning rainbow gay pride flag and them talking about homos can go burn in hell for all they care <laughs> so tmz writes love and hip-hop hollywood star hazel e is eating her words and asking her lgbt fans to forgive her for saying gay should burn in hell we spoke to hazel thursday the day after she went on a homophobic social media rant someone accused her boyfriend and fellow love and hip-hop hollywood star rose burgundy of being gay and it, they could just say his name his name is cam yance and also jess hilarious come on say the names y'all and they both went ballistic invoking the Bible and wishing fiery death on all gays. Hazel admits it wasn't the brightest thing to do, especially because she relies heavily on the LGBT community support. Rather, LGBT community's support, excuse me, got to throw the S in there. You, we, we all know gays are great for throwing S's and things. Excuse me, excuse me, throwing S's and things. She's now backing off the death wish but she's clinging to the religious part of her rant. Thank you very much, Team Z. Thank you very much, Hazel E. You know, people stay hating on Bay, and y'all trying to act like Hazel wasn't that big to y'all uh, just a season or two ago. But now y'all hate her. Whatever heifers. Anyways, man, I'm still riding with Hazel. You know, people said that they were going to unsubscribe from me, from me rather, uh, because I'm riding with Hazel. And in all honesty, I, I really don't care. I mean, if you're that petty, if you're that small minded, if you're that much of a just insane person that because I don't want to throw one of my faves under the bus because I'm not going to sit up here and attack her while you guys are attacking her. I mean, she already has enough people coming after her. Why, why would I do that? Why would I switch things up? I have dark skinned women in my family. I have gay people in my, in my family. I have dark skinned gay people in my family. But at the end of the day, man, it's like. I mean, I may not agree with everything that Hazel E said, but I still have love for Hazel. I know I don't I don't know Hazel E, but I still have love for her. I still respect her. She's still one of my faves and she's still a star to me personally. Now, if you don't feel the same way, same way, then then that's just fine. You know, you don't have to feel that way. She doesn't have to be one of your faves, but she is one of mine. OK, so if you want to unsubscribe from me magazine because I'm a Hazel E fan, then I strongly suggest you do so. Don't come to me in the comment section and say you're doing it. Just bounce. Fuck you. Anyway, this is all my opinion. I'm just a Hazel E fan with the microphone. So what the hell do I know anyway? I'm biased. Let me know what you think about it all below. Except for the part about unsubscribing. If you're going to do that because some people said it. Multiple, multiple people said so. And I, like I told them, I'm like, bye. <laughs> and I have over 71,000 subscribers. I can't babysit anybody. If you want to bounce fine let me know what you think about hazel e situation all below be sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meat magazine not blocks for more follow me on twitter at meat magazine meat magazine 7 on google plus meat magazine blog on instagram be sure to hit that notification button it's right next to the subscribe button looks like a bell once you click that button you'll be sent alerts you'll be notified when the videos get posted